Okay, so here we have my latest little widget which I call the Pi Phone. It's um, Raspberry Pi uh, with a Adafruit TFT screen with um, SIM 900 GSM card in the back and you can see just there by my thumb the microphone and um, uh, headphone input output um, down below here we have a DC to DC converter so the lithium polymer battery that's sandwiched in between the Raspberry Pi and the TFT is converted to 5 volts which powers the Raspberry Pi plus the um, uh, GPGSM module and the TFT screen so it's all nice and standalone so when I power it on as you can see the power LEDs on the Raspberry Pi see the power LEDs on the um, GSM card and there it is trying to associate with the cellular network um, so it's all powered up nicely uh, then when we um, have a lot on that Raspberry boot there so it's taking some time to boot um, but it's uh, <laughs> okay it's a bit of a mess but you wouldn't actually use it in the real world there Python Python logo comes up with a keypad um, so if we give it a test what I want to do is what I have here is um, an old uh, boom mic boom headphone set with a microphone and um, microphone so we'll just swap hands plug in the microphone all right and just so people can hear it I'll plug the audio out from the Pi phone into an amplifier which I have over here so just let me plug that in two seconds kind of awkward with just one hand so we basically have set up so let's give it a go let's all down my own number oh, it's six so eight to the east oh it's seven seven and hit dial hello how are you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, testing fine, no problem. Okay. Say one, two, three, the rail in Spain. Hello? One, two, three. Yeah, good. So it's working away? Yeah, it's Great. Like, I'm All right, cool. Thanks a lot. Bye. Okay. Bye. I'll just press the hang up to hang up. So there you see. Demonstration of. And what's interesting, I think, is that it's powered from a Pi phone. Now it does, uh, powered from a LiPo, and um, all, all um, enclosed. The thing is, it does get a bit warm because there's not a lot of air uh, to go away from the Raspberry Pi uh, to get away from the CPU. So you can feel it getting a little bit warm. It, 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 it doesn't crash or anything, but I'm sure it wouldn't be good to put it in an enclosure without some sort of um, heatsink. Anyway, that's the demo. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you later.